Hey, welcome to Wild Manor Vlog, I'm Chris. In the process of me trying to come up with this vlog, I was trying to figure out what should I talk about? I was thinking, should we talk about comics? Well, that may be too big a subject to talk about. Should I talk about TV shows? Uh, a little bit too big, might come back to that later on. Should we talk about the internet? Oh man, that's way too big of a topic. There's a lot to cover there. What about geek culture? I mean, I'm a geek, but that's still a little bit of a wide range of a topic. So I was looking online, trying to find out how to choose a topic, and a lot of the posts I saw said, choose a topic that you're passionate about. Well, I mean, I'm passionate about comics, I'm a passionate about TV and geekdom and internet and, and a lot of that kind of stuff, but I'm mostly passionate about movies. Oh sure, I'll cover all that other stuff later, but for the, my first one, I figured I'd go with something easy, movies. And I just got done seeing a movie called The Way Way Back. The Way Way Back stars a wide range of actors, everybody from Steve Carell to Tony Collette, to Allison Janning. It even stars two young kids, Liam James. Now when I watched this movie, I was like, I know that kid from somewhere. Where have I seen him from? Oh, that's right. He was young Sean in Psych. You've never seen Psych? Have you been living under a rock? Okay, I can forgive you for not having seen Psych, but we'll probably cover that in another video. So the other young actress is Anna Sophia Robb. Now, uh, once again, I remember her from somewhere. I mean, she has one of those faces that you, just looks familiar. I can't think of... No. 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 That's it. She was Violet Beauregard in the Johnny Depp Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She plays a great role as being the, not a manic pixie dream girl, but more of an emo, kind of angsty, female version of Duncan. Anyway, Duncan kind of hates uh, his mom's boyfriend, the douchebag played by Steve Carell, who's really kind of a dick in the whole movie. Could you look a little more miserable? Could he be even more of a douche? It's a, it's a real sidestep for him, kind of playing the antagonist. He hates him so much that he just can't stand it and just rides his bike into town and happens upon a water park, who the wonderful Owen, played by Sam Rockwell, owns this water park and he just happens to sneak in and just kind of hang out there and in the process of Duncan being there Owen kind of befriends him kind of raises his spirits and basically becomes his friend eventually offering him a job what's more important about this movie is that it was written and directed by Jim Rash and Nate Faxon the same duo that won an Oscar for the Descendants you know the George Clooney pick takes place in Hawaii pretty good flick but that's a different movie this movie had some fantastic writing. Yeah, it's a coming of age tale, but it's very well done. Well, I'm not gonna spoil the rest for you, but I highly recommend it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. Of course, it's in limited release, but you can wait till it's on Netflix or it's till it's on DVD. But if it's in your area, go see this movie. It's fantastic. All right, so that's my review of The Way Way Back. Before I leave, I wanna give you what I like to call the one, two, free. It's basically a couple things I like and one free thing. You can try out these other things. They might cost you a little money, but the one thing is definitely free. The first thing I want you to check out is a TV show called Who Done It. It's on ABC on Sunday nights. The actual finale is coming up, but you can definitely go on Hulu and Hulu Plus and check out the complete first season. It's basically a reality TV version of Clue. Starts off with 13 people, but one of them is a murderer. And if you don't score the best at trying to figure out who the murderer is, you're so number two is the comic book series called Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. Now I'm not gonna get too involved into this because I'll probably cover this series and Brian K. Vaughn a little later in other videos. It's only 13 issues in and the first 12 issues have already been split up into two graphic novels. So you could easily pick those up at your local comic shop or even maybe library and check those out and catch up easily. And now the free. It's called The Thrilling Adventure Hour. It's a podcast created by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. They write comics, but they also do this. And it's a podcast that they took old-timey radio plays and put them into podcast form and put them online for you to listen to. Now, there's upwards of 150 of these, but they do various ones. There are two main ones that they do. One called Sparks Nevada, Marshall on Mars, which is a sci-fi western, and it is hilarious. And the other is called Beyond Belief. It's uh, two psychic mediums that deal with werewolves, vampires, you know, the horror kind of stuff. They're drunkards. They're constantly drinking and is hilarious. 
Well, that's it for the Mild Manor vlog. In the comments below, make sure to put your favorite coming of age movie. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. And until next Thursday, I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,